Mustafa. Oh, he offers an analogy. Um, thanks, huh? It's like the, the secret of Turkish coffee derived from Turkish coffee beans being skillfully pulverized into dust. Yet, listen up without harming the individual molecules that get you so buzzed from the coffee. Mm. It's, been, it's been a generation, but somebody's got to pass it on at some point, okay. Um, the secret. Infinite refinement without harming essence. Hmm. To appropriately remove the pollen from the stalk, you must whip the stalks one by one mm -hmm. against the, this icy, icy, smooth, burnished African ivory paneling everything. Um, uh, whip it. <laughs> yeah. Um, in a totally abandoned way, like this. <laughs> oh, the old man freaks out. Uh, he's shouting pre-Islamic uh, catchphrase, magical catchphrases. He's whipping up a dust storm of pollen. Well, thanks himself. Uh, he's oh, he mimics the ecstatic. Uh, Oh, and with tremendous relief, his all-male aggression against the injustices that mankind inflict on his own species. Just, yeah. Oh, and they can't see anymore. There's so much pollen in the air. They don't got no Ray-Bans to protect them. Um, Frank's, huh? No more wine. <laughs> uh, yeah, they continue to thrash the walls. <sighs> and, and finally, each other. Oh. They're reenacting micro battles between the Crusaders and the Assassins on the astral plane. Get a life. Um, love and century, huh? And just something, it flagellate themselves. You run out of walls, you run out of enemies. Oh, and dust pollen, it's getting all, all over uh, the Mongolian dresses. It's the finest linen in, in Ulaanbaatar, huh? Yak it in, yak it out. Yurt, yurts? Migrations? Um, yeah, they whack all the stalks. I mean, they just went on a whacking, frenzy, freaked out, total full body, opera singer, full throated. <laughs> you got a yodeler in a diver suit? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and they're all, they're all done. Well, that Musafa, Sphinx. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's all good. Um, we've got to hump fuck the walls on our way out. Mm. Secret forbidden manner. And Tantra teachers don't know this. It's not in the Tibetan Book of the Dead, okay? Hump fuck the walls? They're ivory. It feels good. <laughs> and... Yeah, uh, in in a comprehensive fuck a rock around the dome clock motion. Well, okay, look. Uh, final mop up here, Mustafa. 
Sphinx, we got a final mop up here. Mop up on the dome. Isle Infinity. Room for Rumi. Uh, that's why we have the seven run wooden ladder in here. I'm holding it. You're going up. You've got, uh, you know, a hood on your Mongolian dress. And then you, okay, hood it out, mop it up, and we are so out of here. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Back to the adjacent master hut. Whew, they strip off their, you know, their garments. Caked. It's thick sediment of the finest pollen ever thrashed on an ivory dome. Oh, well, and these two pieces of coat. The Mongolians are clever. Genghis Khan, huh? not just the new, the, the, the new post office. Huh? It's also, they design clothes so that when you take them off and you unfold them, it comes out to a perfect rectangle. And all that pollen is on that perfect rectangle to what do you do now? Uh, oh, the two exhausted men, oh, they've been whipped up and naked. They collapse on the sleeping divan and they cuddle one another. Um, Luxurious carpeted sleeping divan, transcendent of any culture or gender. They have been beyond the beyond. Okay. Ankyu, Jamshid, Mahmud, Baram. Mm-hmm. Here they come, coming on in. Uh, these Patan guys, they know what to do next, okay? <laughs>